Spring may have finally hit the valley, but inside the W.D. Packard Music Hall in Warren, it's definitely summertime. I mean, this is what makes us human. The group is a good group and it's gotten better over the years. Being a professional musician, you're always looking for organizations to play in. Being able to share that with other people is a big part of any musician's life. Just a, a quality group of people making really good music. Well, the Packard Band got started because W.D. Packard Loved the people of Warren and he loved band music and he wanted to provide something for them in the future so he set up in his trust and his will uh, provisions that a band be established and a hall be built for the band to play in so the hall was built you know for the band. He died in 1920 but it took a long time actually till 1955 before the hall was built and the band was organized so this is our 61st year. Trumpet. I am one of the saxophone players in the band. Probably about 20 years. I started playing with the band in uh, regularly in the 80s. It's about nine years now. Well, I was asked to play in it. Tom Growth called me and asked if I would uh, be interested in substituting. That's usually how you get involved in this band. They're pro all professional musicians, very fine professional musicians from the area. We kind of have them come from Cleveland as far as Pittsburgh. And when you find a group that, of this quality, then you just you jump at the opportunity. We love music. It's about passion, it's about joy, it's about cultural enrichment, it's about all of those things and, and bringing that to, uh, to the public. It's really unique and they're fortunate to have this here in Warren because there's not many professional bands like this, uh, this quality around the country. We have monthly concerts, uh, and except in the summer, June, July, and August, we have two concerts per month. We're doing a fanfare uh, that was uh, based on uh, the YSU alma mater. We're doing courtly airs and dances. This has been here my whole life. I mean, I, I grew up across the street. Um, okay. So, you know, I've been coming to these Packard concerts since as long as I can remember. Whenever there's an opening, we have auditions. Notices are sent out and uh, people come in and we, we audition them, a blind audition. So I'm a school teacher. But many of them are either band directors or uh, retired band directors. I don't think you'll find something like this anyplace else in the country. A professional band that's paid, the best musicians available, and it's all in doubt. It will go on forever because of the trust that W.D. Packard set up. You have a, a city that has its own band like this. It is a professional band. These guys are all professional musicians. Here people can come and hear a quality organization. We bring in guest artists. Enjoy a, a Sunday afternoon of good quality music and not have to pay anything for it. It just you know creates a, a, a environment and a cultural, that cultural aspect of music that is uh, not readily available with this type of medium. For me, this is just furthering the tradition that was started by those guys that came before me. It's probably the best kept secret even after all these years. Yeah.